Hi students, the topic for the day is uh, income tax from number, the lesson objective to calculate the income tax to be paid for the data given. Before we start, we should know some key terms involved in the topic. Tax-free allowance. From your total salary, the tax-free allowance is reduced. So we have a formula that we will be using for this topic. Your taxed salary will be total salary that you get minus your tax-free allowance. So this is one key formula that we will be using. And there's always a percentage that is being set. Uh, it can be 10% of your taxed salary that you have to pay. Or it can be like uh, slabs, slabs in the sense for the first 10,000, maybe you pay 20%. For the remaining money, you can pay at 30%. So you have different slabs at which you pay your tax. So it depends on the question. We'll be seeing all that as we proceed. Now the math skills for the day is just multiplication and addition that you need to know. And of course you have your calculator. First question, level one. Thomas earns dollar thirty-seven thousand per year. So you have his salary there. He is getting a tax-free allowance of dollar eight thousand. He pays twenty-five percent tax on the rest. Okay, how much tax will he pay in a year? Step one: What is the tax salary that he is going to have? For sure, the formula is the total salary minus the tax-free allowance. So you do the calculation for that. It's a direct and easy question. You have the total salary given to you and the allowance you subtract. The next part is 25% being paid. So the tax paid should be 25% of his tax salary. This is what you have already calculated, which will give you the answer as dollar seven thousand two hundred and fifty so that's your answer next question level two Juliet earns dollar four thousand five hundred per month she gets a tax-free allowance of dollar ten thousand per year and pays tax at twenty percent on the rest how much tax will she pay in a year now here the first issue is that her salary is given in months and they are asking you to calculate the tax paid in a year. So first you calculate the salary for a year, which is times 12, the total earning in a year, which is $54,000. Now the next is uh, what will be the taxed salary? Applying the formula where you're going to subtract the tax-free allowance. And you have the remaining, which is $44,000, which is her tax salary. So, uh, she pays a 20%. So, she's going to pay a 20% tax for the tax salary. And that is $8,800, which she's going to pay as a tax. Next question. Ellie's question 3. Ellie's gets a tax-free allowance of $6,000 and pays tax at 25% on the next $20,000. She pays tax at a rate of 30% on the rest. If she earns $72,000 per year, how much tax must she pay? So her earning is straight given to you, which is $72,000 per year. The second part is you, uh, you have to find the tax salary, which is his total salary minus the tax-free allowance, which is $66,000. The next part is that you have 25% on the next $20,000 and another 30% on the remaining. So let me tell you, you have $66,000 as the tax salary 
So 25 percent of the next 20,000. So this is going to be split. For the first $20,000, she'll have to pay a percentage of 25. And for the remaining, the rest. So what is the remaining money that she has? From uh, 66,000, 20 gone, the remaining is 46,000. And she need to pay the tax at 30%. So this is how you have two different tax coming in for the total salary that she has, for the total tax salary. So at 20%, she pays $5,000. And at 30%, she's going to pay an amount of uh, $13,800. So the total tax will be the sum of these two values which is the sum of 5,000 and 13,800, giving you the total tax paid to be $18,800. Last question. Question four, Johan earns $650 per week and works 48 weeks a year. If he gets a tax-free allowance of $8,000, Pays tax at a rate of 10% on the next $10,000 and 20% on the rest. How much tax will he pay in a year? Again, the same thing. Uh, you don't have the annual income, the annual salary. It's given per week. So you calculate the total earning in a year times 48. We mentioned 48 weeks here. Yes. Now, calculating the tax salary, which is the total salary, minus the tax-free allowance. So you have $23,200, which is the tax salary. Now, again, you have two cases here. She has to pay at a rate of 10% on the next 10000 So the $23,200 is getting split as uh, for the first $10,000, she'll have to pay the tax at 10% and for the remaining. Now, for the remaining is 10000 reduced from this, so 13200 is the remaining salary for which she has to pay at 20%. So, putting the calculations, you have... So the total tax paid is going to be 1000 plus 2640 giving you a 3640 So that's it. That's about income tax calculations. Thank you.